welcome to the world's smallest IKEA haul that has ever happened. I wish that it could be a big haul, I wish that I bought everything but unfortunately um, it was a bit of a spontaneous trip really. We happened to be going for a walk near Ikea and we thought, um, we were about a 20 minute drive from Ikea and we thought why don't we just drive a little bit further and have a look around Ikea because it is like the best place in the world. I love it so much. I only went for the first time ever about three years ago or something and oh my god I love it. I've bought lots of things from there like big furniture pieces as well. I bought more wardrobes from there. I've bought my desk, my computer chair, I've bought loads of stuff. Anyway, I don't know why I'm listing those things because that is not what this haul's about. This is about me popping in and just getting a few little items. If you want to see the actual sort of come shop with me video in Ikea, um, check out my last vlog, which was just basically me wandering around Ikea with a headache, may I add. But anyway, this is what I bought. The first item is this, which I think maybe is a little bit of a novelty. It's a washing up brush. But you can put inside here, I can figure out how to take the top off, washing up liquid. So you put the washing up liquid in there and then it's got a little button on the top that says press and you basically, please don't spill this everywhere, you basically, I'm not going to press it now because obviously washing up liquid comes out of the bottom there. So I don't know, it might be handy, I have used it once already. When you kind of, you're washing up, it's kind of losing that soapiness and you need you feel like you need to add a bit more washing up liquid you know instead of getting the bottle adding more washing up liquid you can be really lazy and just press that button on the top whilst you're washing and it'll release a little bit of washing up liquid yeah I don't know it might be a silly purchase it was like 1.99 or one pound or something I should probably get the receipt okay it was God, you know when things just don't make any sense on the receipt? It doesn't say washing up thingy majig, does it? It calls it a... Did they charge me for this? I'm really confused. Ah, tart, tart smet dish washing, 175, pound seventy-five. So, you know, make your washing up a little bit more fun with this gadget. The second kind of kitchen utensil thing that I bought, well that washing up thing wasn't a utensil was it, but anyway, the second thing to go in my kitchen is a pizza cutter. I threw away, really annoyingly, the plastic thing that was on here because I just assumed it was kind of packaging but then I realised it was actually be handy to keep to stop getting cut on the pizza thing when you put your hand in the cutlery drawer. Anyway, I am 29 and I have never owned a pizza cutter. Now I do. I can tell you how much this was. Do you know what's really annoying is I actually forgot that I had it the other day. We had pizza and I forgot that I had just bought a pizza cutter so I was there cutting it with a knife. So I am yet to use it. It is 95p. 95p for a pizza cutter or a musical instrument. This I think, no it's not the best buy, the best buy, I haven't, no, this is a good buy, <laughs> this, ah, let me start that again. This is an extremely useful, very, very, very useful purchase from Ikea, why am I saying it's from Ikea, this is an Ikea haul car, of course it's from Ikea. I bought this beautiful piece of wood to um, use as my phone is not anywhere near me, I will slot in a little shot of me using this device um, you just basically place your phone in there don't know why it's got it both sides so that's for like thinner phones I think mine slots in that one and it just basically means that you can stand up your phone whilst you're watching YouTube videos and things because I quite often quite often every single time I do the washing up I put my phone like leaning against the side now I put it in this um, and watch YouTube videos just to take my mind off doing the washing up and it's like the only time I kind of get to chill out and sit down and watch YouTube videos because, you know, I'm too busy watching Grey's Anatomy. But this gives me a chance to watch them and not have to like risk my phone kind of falling into the washing up. Kind of gives it a bit more support. So this is a brilliant item. And I paid for this. I know you can pretty much get these from anywhere, but I chose to get it from Ikea because it's beautiful and it says Ikea on the side. What more could you want? 
I will find out the price. Drum roll, please. Why can't I find it? Oh, there it is. $1.95. Bargain. The next item that I bought is kind of in use at the moment. It's a cocktail maker. It currently has Jim's cocktail in here. He made it last night and then he didn't even have time to drink it last night. It smells delicious. It's got whiskey in it and lemon juice and I don't know what else he's put in there. Oh, it really does smell like a good cocktail. Because he made one the other day that wasn't very good. Mm, so it just basically has that little top bit there with a lid and you can kind of like hold that down and give it a shake. I'm not going to do it now because it will spill everywhere probably. Um, and it also has written on it loads of like cocktail ideas telling you how much how much of each ingredient you can put in it to make different things like a pina colada, a tequila sunrise, a mojito, a margarita, a cosmopolitan, all that kind of thing. Anyway, yeah, but Jim's got his own whiskey concoction in here. That, that just smells so good. Mmm. Oh, but very strong as well. Anyway, I think I've just got drunk from the smell of that cocktail. Cocktail maker was, upside down receipt, cocktail maker was, god why is this so difficult, a shaker? Yeah I think four pound, four pound for a cocktail maker thingy-majig, I think that's pretty good. Another item that we bought was this photo frame. We already have I think two of these particular photo frames um, in the house with pictures in, I will kind of slot in a couple of those shots now. There they are, looking beautiful. I don't know what it is you're seeing because I don't know what shot I've decided to put in. There we go, back to the picture frame. This is just a simple black photo frame and it has three spaces in it for three beautiful pictures to go. And I think our plan is to put this in the hall um, as we've already got one of these in the hall but we want one on the other side of the wall. And yeah, I just really like these simple IKEA frames. I've lost the receipt, well, don't know what, I think it was six pound. Where did I put the receipt? I'm going to say six pound. It was six pound. Literally sat here, oh there it is. The correct price was six pound. Got it right. Okay, now I don't really know how I'm going to show you this last item two items in one and I'm going to go and pick it up and see whether I can show you and then if that doesn't work I'm going to show you a shot of it down there on the floor where I can see it. Just give me a minute. Okay the next item that I bought is something that I've wanted for ages and ages. A real life plant, a living plant in my house. I have a lot of fake plants in my house but I don't have any living plants in my house now I do. £9 this cost and it's huge. It's absolutely huge. That just went in my mouth. It's really big oh, and really heavy and oh, I bought a plant pot for it. Just this basic simple IKEA plant pot and that was like £4 I think. £4 for the plant pot. Now oh, I did want a nicer plant pot. I did want this like woven baskety type feel plant pot that looked gorgeous it was like grey and beige kind of striped and it was lovely but Jim wouldn't let me buy that one because it was £15 so he was like don't spend more on the plant pot than you're spending on the actual plant so I bought this plain one instead but you know I did really really like that other one but never mind this is my lovely lovely plant I didn't I actually bought it and I had no idea where I was going to put it because it's quite big and I literally thought there's nowhere in my house that this is going to fit but I've ended up putting it by my front door as you come in and it's just kind of there and it doesn't get in the way it's fine but yeah and Jim quite likes it actually I think it was going to just end up in the porch if I had no space for it in the house but never mind I just wanted it so much so I decided to buy it and my brother has had one of these pretty much identical I think it's called like a dragon tree or something pretty much identical and he's had it for about 10 years and he just said he waters it like once a week and then if it's really really hot he waters it a tiny bit more but we'll see how long I can keep this alive. Well there we have it, that's 
all of the items that I bought in Ikea this time. Really, really wish it had been more, but that was all I bought and it came to £28.65. The only major, major, major annoying thing was it was Jim's birthday at the time and we had a £5 Ikea voucher sent to us and we went to the little computers at the, the front of the store and we like printed off the voucher ready to use and we were talking about it the whole way around like picking things up going well you know we can get this with five pound off anyway we got to the tail we completely forgot about the fact we had this five pound voucher so we could have got this for cheaper but we didn't and now the voucher's like out of date anyway so never mind what a waste <laughs> but thank you very much for watching and um, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a little look at my other videos that I have up on my channel and I do try and upload about once a week um, depending how busy I am. Unfortunately I don't get paid for this, this is just a little hobby of mine so I upload as often as I can because I love doing it. So yeah let me know if there's anything particularly you want to see as well from me and I will see you next time.